Ever since Generate Blocks first released the alpha version of the 2.0 release, I've wanted to do a dedicated video on the new dynamic data systems because it's a huge improvement over what we had before. Now, I always find it's more helpful to have some kind of practical example. So in today's video, instead of showing you just what buttons are and what to press, I'm gonna walk you through building out this author bio box. Inside of this, we're gonna be querying in some default information from the WordPress user, as well as setting up some custom fields that we're gonna to attach to the WordPress user profile. Throughout the process, you're gonna see some different ways to connect in the dynamic data using generate blocks and hopefully a few shortcuts as well. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get started. So I've set up this blog post template with the title, the date, the featured image, and of course, all the blog post content. But down at the bottom, I wanna include some kind of author box so the reader knows who wrote the post. So here inside of my elements in this single post content template, we'll open that up and you can see I've gone ahead and already designed out what this author box should look like. Now this website has multiple authors, so we need to make sure that all of this information is dynamic so it pulls in the right author information for each post. There are some things that we can go ahead and pull from the WordPress user, like the author's name or their biography, but there's other parts of this design that aren't part of that WordPress user data. Things like their title here, the links to social media sites, and even having more control over the image so I'm not relying on using Gravatar in case they don't have their Gravatar image set up. We're gonna be able to set up these other fields using advanced custom fields, and we'll use all the new settings inside Generate Blocks 2.0 to bring in all that dynamic data. I think the first thing we need to do here is start making a list of all the different fields we're gonna need. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a notepad here, and we'll just start jotting down. We need the full name, which I know we can get directly from WordPress. We need their position, which is gonna be a custom field. We need the YouTube URL, which is gonna be a custom field, the Blue Sky URL, which is gonna be a custom field, the Medium URL, which is a custom field. Then we'll need the bio, which we can get directly from WordPress. Down here at the bottom, we're just gonna show their first name. So we also need first name, which we can get directly from WordPress as well. And we wanna go ahead and set up a custom image here. So we'll say author photo, and this is gonna be a custom field. So now that we know everything we need, let's just go ahead and save this. We'll go back to the back end of WordPress into advanced custom fields, and we'll add a new field group here. I'm gonna go ahead and move these notes off screen, but we'll pull them back in as we need them. So we're gonna create a new field group here, and this is gonna be author information. So the first thing we need here is their full name, which we're getting from WordPress. So the first custom field we need in here is their position. We can leave this just as text and we'll call this position. Now, as far as the field name, it will just default to whatever you have as the field label, but I like to be a little bit more explicit just so we don't have any cross contamination with any of these field names. So I'm just gonna put author underscore position. We'll go ahead and add another field here. This one is gonna be a URL field. This will be our YouTube URL. And again, at the beginning of this, I'm just gonna put author underscore. We'll just continue this process and we'll add in the URL for Blue Sky and the URL for Medium. Next on our list, we have the bio, which is already part of WordPress, first name, which is part of WordPress, and we need the author photo. So let's go ahead and add that last field here. We'll go in and we'll choose an image field. We'll say profile photo. And again, we'll prefix that with author underscore. Now for this image, we need to change this return format from image array to image URL. And now we can go ahead and set our display settings for where we want these custom fields to show up. By default, it's just gonna show the post type is equal to post, but we actually wanna go in here and change this to user form, which means it's gonna show up inside of all of our user profiles. We'll go ahead and close this note for now. We'll save these changes. And if we go in here into our users, I've set up a user for this post. You can see I've gone ahead and already filled out all the information that comes default with WordPress, like the first name, last name, the email address, and even the bio here. It's not pulling in a profile picture because this is a completely made up email address that doesn't have a gravatar. So if we scroll down here to the bottom, we'll see that field set we created here called author information, along with all of our custom fields. So we have position, YouTube URL, Blue Sky URL, Medium URL, and the profile photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all these things out so we can update this user. 
So I've gone ahead and put in his position as software engineer, and I've just put the home URLs of all these different social media platforms since I don't actually have URLs for them. Now we uploaded this custom image that I had, and we can go ahead and update this user. Now, before we go in and connect all this dynamic data, it's handy to have a list of all the field names you're gonna need. That way you don't have to go back and forth. So again, I'm just gonna pop open my notes here. I'm gonna grab these different field names and we'll just copy and paste them here into my notes so I have easy access to them so we can get these all connected up. And once we have those, we'll go back into our elements. We'll find our single post blog template and we'll go ahead and edit it. So now let's just go through each one of these different items and get this connected to dynamic data. So the first thing we wanna connect is this author name. So if we highlight the author name and click this little dynamic tags icon, we can pull from our dropdown list and look under the author information. You'll see here we have author meta, the archives URL, and author avatar URL. However, we don't have any of the name information. Even if we click on author meta here inside the meta key, there's no drop down to let us select the author's name. Now all this information is already stored in WordPress and we can access it through generate blocks, but you have to know what those meta keys are. So I went ahead and went through all the different fields that I know we can connect inside generate blocks and made note of those. Those are all gonna be down in the video description below if you wanna grab any of these but we can see this dynamic tag to insert here kind of matches our syntax for these. And all we need to do is put in whatever this meta key is. In this case, we're wanting to use the author's full name. So I'm just gonna do display underscore name and hit add. And we can see down here at the bottom, it's gone ahead and created our dynamic tag, which is author underscore meta a space, the word key and a colon, and then our display name here, which I just took from this list that I created. We'll go ahead and click insert dynamic tag. And now it's bringing in the author of this template, which is me. So we'll repeat the same process here with author title. I'll go ahead and highlight that. We'll go to our dynamic settings and we'll choose author meta. This time we're using one of our custom fields. So we can scroll up here and go ahead and grab this author underscore position and hit add. We'll insert this dynamic tag and you can see it's just showing author meta. And this is because after I added those custom fields, I didn't go back into my user profile and fill out all this information, but the post we're gonna be previewing today is actually written by the author where we did fill all this in. So I think it's gonna be fine on the front end. Here for these social icons, I'll go ahead and open this link. We can do the same thing here with the dynamic tags. We can insert this link from the author meta and what we wanna grab here is the YouTube URL and hit add, insert dynamic tag. And now we can see this tag is here inside of this link. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to my clipboard because instead of all those buttons, when we go here to do blue sky, we can just open this up, paste in that same dynamic tag and just replace the word YouTube with blue sky since we know that's how we named all these different fields. We'll do the same here for medium, open that up paste in that key, and we'll change this to medium URL. Next, we wanna change out this author bio. I'm just gonna delete that here, click on our dynamic information. We're gonna get the author meta, and this actually comes from the list I pasted in here a second ago. This is the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and hit add and insert the dynamic tag. You can see I just have this as my bio as my bio here in WordPress. Now, lastly, here in the text, I just wanna replace this name with the first name only. Instead of having the first and last name in both of these places, I think it makes more sense to just bring in the first name. So we'll go to author meta. We'll look on our list here and it's just first underscore name. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that to my clipboard, paste it in and insert that dynamic tag. And you can see now it's saying more articles by Kyle. We do need to link this to the author archive so I can open up this link, go to our dynamic data again, and here we can go to author archives URL and insert that tag here. So this will link to all the posts by this author. Now, the last thing we need to do is just replace this image. Right now it's just a static image, but we actually wanna bring this in dynamically. Now on images, we don't have it inside the toolbar here. It's over here in the block settings and we have our little dynamic tag icon on this side. So we'll click on that. We'll go to author meta and here for the meta key, we need to grab that author profile photo meta key that we set up with advanced custom fields. We'll paste that in 
and insert that dynamic tag. We're just seeing the placeholder image for now because again, I didn't set up this image inside of my user profile. But if everything's connected correctly, if we go back to that demo post, it should be bringing in all the appropriate author information. So we'll go ahead and save this. We'll go to the back end, into our post, and we'll view that demo post we are working on. Scroll down to the bottom, and now you can see it's bringing in the image that we associated with this author. We have the author's name here, their title. Here, this is linking to YouTube and Blue Sky, but we see our medium one is missing, so we're gonna have to figure out what happened there. Here, it's bringing in their bio, and it says more articles by Michael, since it's just bringing in the first name there. If we hover over that, you can see in the bottom left corner that it's actually linking to that author's archive page. So we need to figure out what we did here wrong with the Medium link. Let's go back into our user profile, users, all users, we'll open up Mike's profile and scroll down. I don't know if it has to do with that trailing slash, we can try that, but I'm thinking it's actually gonna be something inside of our template. So we'll go back to our elements here and under blog single post, we'll scroll back down to that Medium icon and we'll make sure that we set this up right. Yep, we can see here we lost an underscore. So you might've been yelling at your screen while I did that. And that's why it wasn't bringing it in there. We'll go ahead and save that again. And we'll jump back to our post. Now, if we scroll down, since all that dynamic information is entered correctly, we can actually see all three of our social icons. Now, what's kind of cool about some of these being hidden is let's say that Michael didn't have a medium profile. If we go back here into Mike, and we just delete out this medium URL, we just leave it blank and update that user, go back and view this post again, we'll see that it's not showing the medium icon because there's no value in it. So it's automatically gonna hide the things that aren't relevant. So this is a nice way to kind of future-proof all these profiles since different authors might have different sets of links. Now, while I'm super excited about all the things we can now do inside Generate Blocks with this 2.0 release, I do think there are a few more things they can work on as far as the UI goes. Being able to see all those default user fields right inside the editor would be great, so you didn't have to go find these fields, track them down, and copy and paste them in. And I hope that they'll be working on some more of those quality life improvements as they go on. I'm gonna to continue to make a few more videos on Generate Blocks as this 2.0 release rolls out. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do it. And if you learned something in this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. We'll catch you next week.